Good evening, welcome on into the evening edition of From Day One. This evening, courtesy of good old friend, Law Talk with Mike, we're going to have a subsidy court getting the smack of laid down on his proverbial candy ass. Your Honor, she's on. She's under that unusual username, I believe. Well, of course she is. I'm here. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm here like stupid. Yeah, that's me. Look, look at the smile on Judge Simpson's face. He knows what's coming. And throughout this, I because I don't want to stop it a bunch of times, but throughout this, he just enjoys every moment of this thoroughly. All right. Court does call the cases of people versus Octavia Lewis. Hold on, buddy. Your Honor, in this case, again, we're asking the court to please set for a final settlement conference. Seriously? <laughs> Your Honor, there is an offer available in the state matter to plea guilty as charged with the prosecutor's deferred. Okay, so you want them all set? The two superior township as well as that? No. Those aren't mine, Judge. I, sorry, I, I'm only representing her on the uh, allegation of assault case. There's some driver's license issues. Um, Mr. Myers representing her on those. Really? Multiple judges? I'm in court. I'm in court. All right. In the state matter, jury selection will be February 2nd, 2022, 1 30. Jury selection, February 4th, 2022, 8 30. With the admonishment, and Bond will continue with the admonishment that that kind of jury selection may change. Your Honor. Yes. I um, have asked the question of jurisdiction over the entity, and I am inquiring about the answer to that. Oh, here we go. Jurisdiction over the entity. I don't know what you mean by that, ma'am. Nobody does. Can your legal court of justice show written jurisdiction over this entity? Um, ma'am, I'll answer it this way. This court has jurisdiction. I'm not sure what entity you're talking about. I have subject matter jurisdiction. Myself, case. There, are, there are two types of jurisdiction. There are, there are subject matter jurisdiction and in persona jurisdiction, both of which this court has. Do you, if, you pers- if you wish to challenge that, you must challenge that. But it is not challenged by an oral motion. Um, okay. But I am an incorporated name, and if the court cannot show jurisdiction over the entity, then that means that they don't not have jurisdiction over the entity. To the extent that your argument carries any legal weight, which it doesn't, which I don't believe that it does, then what you would have to do is you would have to file a motion challenging that man you cannot raise that issue orally before this court thank you hi this is frankie with the sovereign citizen patrol and i'd like to remind you to please hit like and subscribe or i'll be personally offended on the on the superior township matters how are you proceeding these are public defender cases Your Honor, I believe Ms. Harris spoke with Ms. Lewis. Uh, I don't know if Ms. Harris is able to join us. She was having some difficulty with her audio. There she is. Um, Hello, I'm Amber Harris with and on behalf of Ms. Octavia Lewis. Um, Your Honor, I haven't been in contact with Ms. Lewis because the contact information we have on file um, is not up to date. And her number that we have does not work. Uh Well, my number is up to date. I did just your- <laughs> this is so delicious. I just wanted to stop right here. Uh, the, the attorney's trying to buy some more time saying I don't have contact information. The, the defendant messes all this up. The judge catches all of it and just enjoys it. It's so, so good. Um, voicemail this morning <laughs> um, asked to, for me to call you, but I'd already logged into Zoom. Into clear. So what would you like to do, Miss Harris? Um, Miss Lewis, do you currently have a valid driver's license? Um, no, because I'm not using my vehicle for any uh, gainful means or compensation of any kind, and I do have the right to travel. No, you don't. 
So okay. are you- um, well, Let's deal with the right to travel so that um, we can just get that out of the way. The right to travel is, if talking about the constitutional right to travel, you absolutely have the right to travel. You do not have the right to use any mechanism in which to travel. So I would suggest a history lesson might be in order, but I don't plan on giving it this way. Your Honor, I am a Native American and I have the right to nope. travel according to the treaties that were signed between your forefathers that formed your oh, government. I don't think, I don't think my forefathers American. signed any treaties. Thank you, Judge Simpson. That was good. You know, if that's what you want to believe. For those who don't know, Judge Simpson is an African American judge. Forefathers that established the Constitution in which you just my, my, my forefathers did not sign them. And I would appreciate No, don't it tell me to hold it. You do not tell me to hold it in my courtroom. Yeah. I didn't say hold it. Ever. Ever do you do that? That is not what I said. Ever do you do that? Oh, I you said do not I interrupt me in my courtroom. At. Do not interrupt me in my courtroom. I my apologies, you. Your Honor. It's really as simple as that. Yeah. So, well, Ms. Harris, what would you like to do in this case? I mean, Your Honor, I would just like to adjourn this case. And Ms. Lewis, if you could just contact the Public Defender's Office so we can get this taken care of, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Well, February 15th, uh, Thank you, Your Honor. The 9 Public Defender's Office, and if you're not going to represent me, then I'll stand on my ground with MRC. Hmm. <laughs> well, February 15th, 2022, 9 a.m. Bond at this time will continue. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, not Thank only you. does he do the fantastic job that you just witnessed, which was which was perfect. It's textbook. Uh, I absolutely love how he handled it. But he continues. Uh, I'm going to go a little farther because he continues to enjoy it into the next case. And it's awesome. Court calls the case of the people versus Eric Elise Williams. Yes, I'm Eric L. Z. Williams. Jamil okay. Williams, of Superior Township. Ashley Wandy, for the people of the state of Michigan. And Andrew Meyer, on behalf of Eric L. Z. Williams, who's already stated his name. He's yes, Eric L. Z. Williams here. Is he incorporated? He, he's I, not a dog. No, I just thought I'd ask. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. My bad. <laughs> I thought I'd, you know, I just wanted to check because you never know. <laughs> Mikey, <laughs> really? Good, good morning, Your Honor. Because um, he didn't have ink after his name. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Good morning, Your Honor. <laughs> I, I did not have an opportunity to meet with Mr. Elsie Williams. However, I think. Oh, well, there you have it. Uh, Cedric Simpson, again, one of my favorite judges. Uh, he's he's right up there with Lenise Bryant. Of course, he does it in his own style. And, and dare I say, um, uh, Judge Gothier up in Sheboygan all did it in their own way, but it's just fantastic. Here, I think he's he's very measured and reasonable. He lets her talk more than I thought he would. Uh, I, I have a video in here where he just shut somebody down for swearing pretty hard, and, and a lot of people in the comments were on him about it. I I back him on it. I still do, but I understand I understand that perspective as well. All right, let's get to but another here, clip here. He real was quick. awful, awfully um, tolerant uh, of her talking over him, but. All right, give us just a few seconds. I'll get that other clip up for us, and we'll continue. Here, we're going to go with somebody who thinks it's time to abandon ship. Here we go. All right, let's begin. And here we go. Two zero. Six two seven. Two two zero one. The people of the state of Michigan versus James Matthew Tires. The defendant is charged with one count of disorderly disturbance. And today is the date set for a pretrial conference. Miss Ritter, your appearance, please. For the record, Your Honor, Christina Ritter on behalf of the people. Mr. Tires, your appearance, please.
There is no Mr. Tyres. My oh, name is geez. James Matthew of the family Tyres. This has been established not only in your... Nope. Okay, his name is James Matthews of the Tyres family. Today is the date <laughs> set for a pre-trial conference. How, how are we proceeding today? Mr. James Matthews of the Tyres family. <laughs> You've been communicated with, Judge, on several occasions. Sir, so you don't Christine, know if I've been communicated with. Yes, I do, because I have documents. I have certified. Okay, I'm going to mute you. Thank um, you, Your Honor. You don't have anything with my name, with my signature on it. You don't know if I've been communicated with. You may be able to ask me if I've been communicated with, but you don't know if I've been communicated with. So please don't say that I've been communicated with. You may have communicated with the court. You may have communicated with the court clerk. You may have communicated with the court administrator, but you have not communicated with me, nor do you know whether I've received any communication. If you wanna indicate that you have sent a document and you wanna ask me if I received it, then we can discuss that. However, you don't know what I have received nor who I've been in communication with. You may proceed. Oscar says hit like and subscribe. Well, and hit the bell notification. Thanks, Oscar. I always like that. Oh, Oscar's awesome. Let's get back to the idiot. On the 19th of August, I spoke to you personally in your Zoom. No, you didn't. Just as I am doing today. And I gave you the details of the situation. I also told you on the public court record that you'd been served with an affidavit of truth. <laughs> that affidavit was sent to you in August. It was received by the 36th District Court in, in August. It became judgment and truth in law in September. Nope. It was also sent to Christina Ritter. It was also sent to the clerk of the court who proceeded to send them back first class mail without any communication. During that communication that I did speak to you regarding this situation, you abandoned ship <laughs> of the court and refused to address the situation. That is all recorded, witnessed and videoed outside the front of the court. Oh, no. Since that time, I spoke to Christina Ritter after making five attempts to address the situation that should have been remedied a long time ago because of the criminal behavior conducted by two police officers, one man and one woman. Because Christina Ritter decided to put the phone down on me again, abandoning ship and not wanting to deal with the situation, <laughs> I said- why we do that? Do you know why we do that? Because he's an idiot. didn't want to address the situation. Really? I didn't want to address the situation, even though this is what I do all day, every day, five days a week, is address situations. It probably, it probably was because You're on idiot. the day that you were outside of the courthouse, refusing to, to put on the, the uh, mask that was mandated by the um, chief judge in order to enter the court building, and then you kept talking over me, and then I, I um, removed you from the courtroom. And so you call it abandoning ship, and I call it maintaining proper decorum of the courtroom. Miss um, Muldrow, do you have the file for Mr. Tyers? There is no Mr. Tyers, Judge. Don't I interrupt me. I can call you Mr. Tyers if I want to. Okay, well, I'm just because making that is the name that appears on the docket. And so as the name Mr. appears Idiot, on Your the Honor. docket, that is how what? I address all individuals who come before me. At this particular please. moment, at this particular moment, I am speaking to my court clerk, and I would appreciate you if you would not interrupt up. that communication. Miss Muldrow, do you, can you look in the file and tell me have I received any filings or anything from regarding this matter? Judge, I'm looking in the file and there's no motions or anything in here at all. 
So, sir, we have not received any motions, despite you saying that I you didn't have use a motion. I served you with an affidavit of truth. And last Friday, the 7th of January 2022, you were served with a second one that went to I you, wasn't Karen. served with anything because last Friday on January of 22, I was on an airplane to Arizona. You, so you didn't you serve me it. with anything, sir. You might have been. It was sent to the 36th District Court, along with one that was sent to Christina Ritter via the prosecutor's office and the 36th District okay. Court, and one that was sent to the clerk of the court. Well, I'm not here want, to argue with you, Judge. You I'm not here to argue with you. Can I ask a question? You may. What is the colour and age of the man allegedly on the docket? I could care less about the color or the it age says, of the man. It says, okay, so here the... we are. We're not getting anywhere. Miss Ritter, how did the people wish to proceed with this case? Are you do you have a complaining witness? Your Honor, so um just a little procedural background on this case. It started out as a felony with count one, uh assaulting, resisting, and obstructing a police officer, which was dismissed at the exam stage, leaving count two, disturbing the peace. Um left for this matter which is the misdemeanor uh count in front of your honor so at this time the people um are ready to proceed on disturbing the peace charge judge all right as so this, the people's understanding that there's no complaining witnesses needed for that disturbing the peace charge the court is going to enter a not guilty plea on behalf of mr tires now if mr tires isn't going is if there is no mr tires then 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 i would appreciate this other person not showing up for court. So <laughs> if you're not Mr. Tires, please don't come back to my courtroom. Um, because the only person that I'm interested in is Mr. Tires. I don't know what his color is, and it is of no of no consequences to me. I don't know what his age is, and that is of no consequences to me. I don't know what his race is, and that is of no consequences to me. What I know is this. If you're not Mr. Tires, just don't show up. I want to just deal with Mr. Tires. That's the only person that this case is against. And if that is not you, then perhaps it's someone else. But please stop showing up on the case that is for Mr. Tires. All right. So as it relates to Mr. Tires, apparently he didn't show up. Uh, um, Mr. Tires hasn't shown up today. And therefore, I'm I'm going to just save this case to the end of the docket, as I do with all the other uh, failure to appears. And I will address Mr. Tyre's case at the end of the docket a as a failure to appear. Mr. James Matthew, um, have a nice day. You never have to come back because you're not Mr. Tyre's. Um, so I appreciate you. I don't know. Come into that whole thing was just a, a thing of beauty. I stayed out of the way because it's just so delicious in and of itself. Uh, he, he's, he, his Thank argument, you. I believe is, is he's served her with affidavits of truth, which are meaningless and, and, and have no bearing on anything. She doesn't have anything in the, in the court file. Uh, so he's just th throwing nonsense at her. I don't know if she's ever received or whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It has no, it has no effect. It hasn't made the court file wasn't wasn't properly filed isn't it and it isn't before the court and uh she does what i think is is very good which is just look if you're not going to acknowledge that you are the person charged then i'll just th throw this at the end of my call i'll just pass it and then at that time if no one's there then i'll probably issue a bench warrant for the person which of course she knows is him and he knows is him and then we'll we'll probably do this whole thing uh 30 days from now after he gets picked up picked up off a warrant uh, it's, it's just, it's just too good. Uh, she explains it to him. I think she makes it perfectly clear, but if, if that doesn't do it, do it for you, Mr. Tires, Mr. Tire, whatever, James Matthew of the family tire, how, however you want to be addressed, maybe, maybe, maybe judge Rangel can explain it to you. What I've said to you right now has not sunk in, has not sunk in. You really still don't grasp it. That's what you need to understand. And you don't. And that's where I want to help you. All righty. Thank you for that, Mikey. We definitely appreciate it. But that, that'll bring our day to a close here on From Day One. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. You can one another release the Krakens as we march along here from Day One. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.